Well, now at noon, a frightening police pursuit and SWAT situation is over. It was in Farmington, but it was a long process to get to this point, including closing down roads and putting neighborhoods on lockdown. The suspect at the heart of all of this is now in the hospital after being shot by police after he allegedly held a local family hostage this morning. Fox 13 Scott McCain has been on scene and has the latest. Police say they were taking no chances with 31-year-old Joseph Maynard, which is why there was such a huge police presence here throughout all today, all morning long, including two SWAT teams, because this is a man they consider to be armed and very dangerous. And it all ended right around 9 a.m. after Maynard was shot by police here in Farmington. The suspect then transported to a local hospital. But the situation begins more than seven hours earlier up in Clearfield. That's where officers had spotted Maynard and were attempting to arrest him. He was already wanted on multiple felony warrants out of Layton City, warrants including aggravated assault. But he ran from the scene there at the Freeport Center and allegedly carjacked a man after firing into his vehicle. Maynard then took that stolen car and headed south, allegedly ramming at least a couple of police cruisers before officers were able to lay down tire spikes, neutralizing that stolen car. But Maynard kept going, running off on foot into this Farmington neighborhood, where at one point he allegedly broke into a home and held the family at gunpoint for several hours until the situation was finally resolved. There was an officer involved shooting, subject was hit, uh, sustained injuries. What those injuries are, I, I, not sure. Still awaiting word on the suspect's condition and which officers fired those shots, this entire incident now being handled by the Davis County officer-involved critical incident protocol team. And it's probably going to take a long time to figure all of this out because there were at least a half a dozen police agencies involved. Meanwhile, we're told that the family who had a deal with Mr. Maynard this morning that they sustained minor injuries, but really no more detail than that at this point. We are expecting an update from Farmington police later today. In Farmington, Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.